Hi everyone, it's Quark here, Blue Diamond Direct in Your Health. And today I want to make a quick video explaining to you guys about the four pillars of health. Now we explain this through a simple drawing that um, I want to show you guys so you really can give um, you know, your prospects the the education information about the four pillars, okay? So it's very powerful when you actually draw it out and really explain to them, okay? So this is what I want to teach you today. Now the four pillar concept, uh, we start off with an analogy first. So the analogy we use is like, um, the four pillars are like the four pillars of, uh, sorry, the four tires of a car. So if you were driving on the highway and one of your tires blew out, right, the car could still move forward, but it wouldn't move forward at the, you know, efficient level, right? And let's say another tire blows out and so forth, eventually if all four tires blow out, you, the car is going to be even slower and slower um, to move forward. So it's not as efficient, right? So the same concept can be said about the four pillars of health. Now we can, you know, live life with you know, a couple of pillars down, but eventually if, you know, all fours start to, you know, um, break down, we're going to experience a lot of health problems, okay? So we like to use that analogy to really explain to people that concept. Now, the first pillar we talk about is absorb, okay? So in Absorb, we have the product called Digestive Ultra. Now, you want to explain the principle of Absorb and what, that, what it means. So Absorb just for, uh, means the breaking down of our food, so we absorb the nutrients from our food, okay? So, straight away, I would use an example. And I'll talk about the three macronutrients. So a protein, carbohydrates, and fats. So these are the three macronutrients we have uh, when we eat our foods, okay? So for example, chicken is a protein, Pasta is a carbohydrate and almonds is, you know, good fats. And when you're consuming any of those foods, it must be broken down by the body. So for example, that chicken must be broken down into amino acids, okay? The carbs are meant to be broken down into glucose or energy. And fats are meant to uh, break down essential fatty acids, okay? So, the breakdown when you eat this, let's say chicken, it must be broken down to amino acids for the body to recognize and absorb. Now the breakdown of this happens by digestive enzymes. Okay. Now these digestive enzymes are found in the body and aid us in the process of digestion. Now, digestive enzymes are also found in raw food as well. But the thing is, a lot of people are cooking their foods above 48 degrees. Now when you cook your food above 48 degrees, it destroys 100% of the enzymes. So you think about it. When we're eating all this cooked food, which there's no enzymes in it, our body has to work extremely harder to produce its own enzymes and to break it down. Experts say that you use around 60 to 80% of the body's energy to break down the food. Okay? And when you're using that much energy, you feel tired and bloated and all that stuff. So for example, let's say you eat a massive bowl of pasta and chicken and all that stuff. Do you feel energetic straight away? Okay? Aren't you meant to feel energetic because you just consume pasta, which is energy? You, normally people feel tired and bloated and stuff like that because the body has to break down this large quantity of food that you just put into your body and it's all cooked. So that means the body has to work extremely hard to break down the food and that's why people are so tired and bloated all the time because they don't have enough enzymes and it's leading a lot of cooked food. Okay? So the solution to that is we need a digestive ultra. Now this is a plant-based enzyme tablet that you take with your, your meal, either you know, lunch and dinner. When you're eating a, maybe a meal that's cooked or a large quantity of it, you use a digestive ultra with your meal. You take it with your meal to help break down that food. So your body doesn't have to work so hard to break down the food, okay? So that's the first pillar. And I think a lot of people um, in society need this digestive ultra tablet because you see the amount of fast food that people are eating and the quantity of food that people are eating now they need, it's all cooked and they need uh, something to help their bodies to break down this food okay so that's the first pillar and the second pillar I want to talk about is cleanse now this pillar is essential because cleanse is very important because understanding this can help a lot of people with health drastically okay so to explain cleanse, I will talk about the digestive system and how it works, just so they can understand, okay? So we eat our food, it goes into our esophagus, and then into our stomach, okay? Then from there, the food is further broken down, and it goes into the small intestine. From there, the food is further broken down into small particles, where it is absorbed into the blood. And the food literally becomes part of us, and that's how we get nourishment. 
any excess waste is excreted out of the large intestine, which is shown here, and then out the other end, okay? So I explain that to really help you guys give a better understanding of how digestion works, simply, okay? So the problem is, a lot of people are eating cooked food, and a lot of people are eating a lot of the, the food in large quantities, and it's highly processed, because uh, you know, 64% of Australians are obese of weight. That comes back to the types of food we're eating and the quantity of food we're eating. So you're imagining you put all this food into your body, okay? The large quantities and highly processed stuff. It's hard for the body to break that all down efficiently. So for example, have you seen that photo of the McDonald's meal where you know it's been taken seven years ago and it still looks the same? Logically, how can food do that? You know, food is obviously you know raw and and, and, and any real food that is raw and stuff like that. Is, is broken down naturally, okay? But seeing that McDonald's meal looks exactly the same, you've got to understand that they're putting a lot of additives and preservatives into that food to, to make it last longer. And now you're putting that food into your body, of course your body's going to find it hard to break that, this stuff down, okay? And what's happening is it, is it gets clogged up inside our bodies. Now the analogy I like to use is like a, like a bin. So each week you would, you, you would take out the bin on a weekly basis, right? What if you didn't take out the bin for like three years? And you, you kept using the bin and you never emptied it for three years, okay? You could imagine all the buildup and all the toxic uh, waste and all the, all the food and rotten stuff would be fermenting and going off and stuff like that inside the bin, right? So that same process, guys, is happening inside the body, okay? So when you're putting all this food, that can't be digest digested efficiently, it gets clogged up. And it gets clogged up inside the large intestine. What happens is, once it gets clogged up in here, it de develops a thick layer around the intestinal wall. And what happens is, now this is a thick layer of undigested food, right? And what's happening is, it's releasing bad toxins and bad bacteria into the bloodstream, guys. And what happens there is, where does the blood go? The blood goes everywhere, right? So we call this process auto-intoxification, meaning poisoning yourself from the inside. Experts say that seven people can hold up to seven to ten kilos of toxic waste inside the large intestine, guys. Now that's a crucial, big, massive, gigantic problem because imagine if you went through life and you didn't know this was happening inside the body. 10, 15, 20 years, 30 years, eventually this is going to have and create a lot of health problems. Having a poor digestive system can have a, a, you know, a massive impact on the digestive system, guys, okay? So what needs to happen is we need, we need to use a probiotic to help keep the healthy balance of the digestive uh, wall because right now there's an influx of um, bad toxins and bad bacteria into the bloodstream and that's not good. So we use a probiotic to help keep the healthy balance and we use a fiber to act like a broom to sweep out all the undigested food, okay? So if you keep this process going to help cleanse everything, you're gonna feel a lot more healthier, guys. Because if you don't look after that, a lot of a lot of illnesses and diseases stem from a poor digestive system, guys. And you look at the foods that you know the kids are eating today, where you know five, you know, six year olds are eating this in this food, like you know, these fast foods that has an impact at that age. And if they started eating this food at the age of five, imagine what the health problems are gonna be like when they're like 30, 35, 40. Okay guys? So this is an information that you need to get out to people because it can help a lot of people. All right? So that's the pillar of cleanse. The third pillar I'm talking about is alkalis. Now this pillar is, it talks about the pH scale. Now, if you don't know what the pH scale is, it's like the pool, right? When the pool is dirty, um, you got to get, you know, the pool got to come in and really clean the pool out because if it's dirty, it's going to be more acid, okay? And it's not healthy for us to swim in, right? So the pool guy tests the pH with the pH strip and it gives an indication whether it's acid, alkaline, or neutral, okay? So, you know, you want to have the pool at neutral because it's blue, clear, and clean. That's where, you know, you, you can swim in without catching your diseases, right? So the pH scale is like the blood, um, the pH of the blood, okay? So in this scenario, we're born at 7.6 pH, and that's the optimum level that we're born at. Now, this is where the, you know, we feel the most healthiest, the most oxygenated blood inside our bodies, okay? So, 
there's a problem though. A lot of people are eating acid forming foods. Meat, dairy, coffee, alcohol, fried foods, processed foods. So these foods have a very acid effect on the body, okay? So the body must stay at 7.6 or very close to that because if it moves you know, down the scale to 6 or up the scale to 8, we fall into a coma and we die, right? So the body's very smart, it's not going to let us die. So what happens is if you're putting all this acid food into your body, you're basically, the body's working so hard to stay and keep yourself balanced at 7.36 guys. So the analogy I like to use here is like, you're driving on the highway and you're doing 100 kilometers an hour, right? But you're doing 100 kilometers in first gear. It's possible to go 100 in first gear, but that you're revving the engine to its maximum capacity, right? Eventually, if you keep going, the engine is gonna blow up, right? The same problem is happening here. We must stay at 7.36 but we're putting acid forming foods inside the body, our engine and our body is revving so hard to stay at 7.36. How I know this? Because a lot of people have these symptoms, you know, illness, fatigue, mood swings, inflammation, you know, no energy, poor immune system, obesity, mood swings. So all these problems here is an indication of the body that it's not functioning at its um, optimum pH or it's, it's fighting to stay at 7.36 and this is the body starting to break down. These are the symptoms of the body starting to break down. Now what do we do when we have these symptoms? We go to the pharmacy, we, you know, we get drugs and we try to feel better and try to solve these, these problems that we're having. But that's just putting a band-aid over it. It just comes back to the types of foods that we're eating because if you use you know, the, the, the pharmacy stuff, it's really just you know, putting the solution on for just these problems here, but the actual root of the problem is the types of food that we're eating, guys. I know that in society, not enough people are eating, the, you know, raw greens, spirulina, lemon, siagi, dandelions. All these things, you guys, cannot be found on a McDonald's menu. You don't go to McDonald's and ask for a spirulina burger, right? It just doesn't happen. So we know that a lot of people are eating acid forming foods, and a lot of people are experiencing all these, these symptoms here. And I know that a lot of people are not eating any of these green, raw, organic stuff, okay? What needs to happen is we, we need to alkalize our blood. We need to alkalize and help the body stay at 7.36 pH. So if you're eating all this acid forming stuff, we suggest you use the super greens. The super green is a powerful antioxidant formula, help created to really alkaline the blood. So if you're eating all this stuff, you need the super greens to really help balance the blood at 7.36, guys. Now, I'm not saying just use a super green, that's it. I'm saying, obviously, yes, you've got to eat the, you know, the, the, the foods as well, the raw, organic, green foods as well, but also use the super greens because it's you know, a lot more convenient. One scoop, shake it up and drink it, right? I have, a, I have super greens at least twice a day, okay? So that's going to really help us stay at 7.36 pH, right? Doesn't, so we can help not stress the body out so much because we're putting all this acid forming foods in the bodies, okay? And the last pillar I want to talk about is nourishment. So in nourishment, we talk about um, the essential vitamins. So we all know that nutritional content of the food has gone drastically down, guys. Um, for example, all, you know, all, the, you know, all the pesticides that are sprayed on our crops and all that stuff. Why do they do that? Because they don't want all the pests destroying their crops. Because if you know, the crops are destroyed, the farmer's going to lose a lot of money. Right, and then you know the the, the 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 food chain people, you know the Woolworths and Coles, they're gonna just look for another farmer to supply them, and they're gonna the, the farmer that's gonna lose out. So they're gonna make sure they're gonna do whatever it takes to make sure their crops are not destroyed by all these pesticides. So what they do, oh sorry, pests. So what they do is spray pesticides on it to uh, to kill all the pests. So it preserves the, the the food. Okay, but when you're spraying all these chemicals and and stuff onto the food that degrades nutritional value in it, okay? And then we're putting this inside our bodies, right? So it's not good for us. So what's happening here is a lot of people think they're eating, you know, a, a healthier, um, you know, foods and they have the same nutrients in it. But what's happening is, let's say, for example, two apples, one organic one, one, you know, Woolworths one, for example. The organic one, you know, is $8 a kilo. It's a lot smaller. It doesn't look that great, right? The Woolworths one, however, it's t you're twice as big, it's juicy, it's red, it has no blemishes, and it looks perfect. What are you going to choose? You're going to choose the one that looks good, right? So the Woolworths one, it's only two bucks a kilo as well. So a lot of people are choosing the other option where the, we know that the organic one probably has five times the amount of nutrient value than the Woolworths one. And everyone's choosing the cheaper option. And when you choose the cheaper option, 
you don't get the, the, the vitamins and minerals from the food. You probably have to eat five or ten apples to get the same nutrient out of the, you know, as the organic one. So what we need to do is, yeah, if you're eating that stuff, you're going to use the essential vitamin just to really help top up the level. So you feel a lot more, um, more energetic and have the minerals and vitamins that are needed into the diet on a daily basis. Additional products, guys. Um, with the Berry Blast, um, it's for energy, okay? So a lot of people drink coffee, Red Bulls, Mothers, and V's and all that stuff. And now each can probably has about 300 calories in it, okay? So I was at a gym recently, and the gym, and in the gym, Red Bull came in, and they were handing everyone, you know, these Red Bulls and stuff like that. And I couldn't understand that, why people were drinking it and still, you know, jumping on the treadmill, okay? Because they just ingested 300 calories they come to the gym you know, to, to burn calories and to work off fat and all that stuff and to increase their metabolism, but they just took on 300 calories of empty calories into their bodies. It's a no-brainer for me. The reason why they're taking that is because they lack energy and they don't have enough energy to exercise. The berry blast is only 10 calories, less than one gram of sugar, 19 berry uh, fruit extract in it, very powerful antioxidants, and it helps keep a sustainable energy. Okay, with the Red Bulls coffees, there's, there's a massive peak and there's a massive drop in it. And the Dairy Blast helps sustain a, a stable energy release. It has stevia in it, which is a plant, um, natural plant sweetener. Okay? And also, a lot of people say, oh, I drink the, you know, the Red Bull with no sugar or Diet Coke or whatever it is. But I'm telling you guys, that's probably worse than having sugar in it. All right? Because, for example, at least the body can metabolize sugar. Okay? It understands and recognizes what sugar is and it can break it down. Okay, but when you're drinking like a diet coke or anything like that, it has artificial flavors in it to trick your mind. I'm oh, sorry, to trick your taste buds to make it taste sweet. So what's happening there is that that's a chemical that you know you're putting inside your body, and the body is not going to recommend that chemical, and it's not going to break it down efficiently and effectively, and that's going to cause a lot of health problems later on. So we want to try to avoid the diet stuff. Okay, guys, the MRP is a meal replacement protein. And you know we'll guarantee the absorption of the protein in there because it has digestive enzymes and this thing called NDS. Okay, it basically guarantees all the protein to be to be delivered into the blood. Okay, and then repair is a variable, powerful antioxidant to help repair. Um, you know people have soreness uh, after gym and stuff like that, but also really good um, for uh, decreasing inflammation and recovering from people with a lot of you know injuries and stuff like that. Very, uh, a lot of good testimonials from the repair parts. I highly recommend trying it if you've got any injuries and stuff like that because I've seen a lot of things that um, come from a lot of people having this repair product, okay? But simply, that's the four pillars of health. Now you look at it, um, a lot of people um, don't understand the, the, how simple and easy it is and a lot of people are suffering from you know, these symptoms that I talked about with the four pillars. And we at Your Health have a, you know, a solution for this and it's just our goal to really explain it to people and to help them try the products because when they try the products and it works for them, um, you know, they can help other people do the same thing. So this information can really help a lot of people with their health because as I said before, 64% of Australians are overweight or obese guys. And if we don't do anything about it, by the year 2025, it's going to jump to 80% of people. And now we don't want that to happen. Here at Your Health, we're passionate about getting this information to out to people. Now, we also have this thing called NDS, Nutrition Delivery System. Now, this guarantees the absorption of all the products into the blood, okay? And also, if you buy the products and you try them and it doesn't work for you, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee on all the supplement guys. So you can't do that at any other supplement store you know, in Australia that I've seen. They, you can't go into a supplement store, buy the product, open the packet, take it, and if it doesn't work for you, you can't get you know, your money back. But here at Your Health, we're so confident that people will get the results that if you try the products and you open every single pack and you, you, know, you, 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 know, you, you finish it all and it doesn't work for you, you can send it back within the 30 days and get a full refund on your, on your money, okay? So, that is it for guys today. That's how you explain the four pillars. I hope that helped. Please learn that and really help share this information we have. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.